Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a 3D file to be 3D printed. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is open up a project that you want to be 3D printed. For this one, we're going to be concentrating on the pumpkins. So in this project, I purposely made all of these pumpkins here. And for the pumpkin project, we're just going to print one pumpkin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the homepage. So we're going to click over here in the top left corner where we have our TigerCAD logo. We're going to click on that. So here's the project with all of the pumpkins. And instead of deleting those pumpkins, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this gear and we're going to click on duplicate. That's going to create a copy and it's going to open that 3D design. Now in the top left corner, you're going to see where it says copy of and then your file name. And this should be the file name that you created for your pumpkin project or whatever project that you're working on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the file name and at the end there, after the period number, I'm going to hit space and type in print. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid of where it says copy of at the beginning of that and delete it. Now you want to remember that this is a copy and you're not really deleting anything because you still have that original file. And we can even go back and double check before we start deleting 3D models from this project. So I'm going to go back home. There's the original file with all the pumpkins. And this is the file that I'm going to delete everything from except for one pumpkin. So I'm going to go click on Tinker This. Now you can do a couple things here to remove these items. You could select them and click on the light bulb and always bring them back. But again, remember this is a copy, so we can always just delete everything else inside here. I'm just going to choose one model. And the reason why I'm going to choose this model here in the middle is because the design is really simple. The design does not have really thin lines. This one here, if I zoom out a bit, this one looks like it does have some thin lines here. So you want to choose the one pumpkin that we know that's going to print the best. Even though this one looks okay, we could tell what the design is. Sometimes designs look different when they're actually 3D printed. So I'm going to choose this middle one here to play it safe. So I'm going to delete everything else in this 3D project. Again, we're not really deleting it because it, we do have a copy of it in the original file. Okay, so here's the one 3D model. Just to double check to make sure that this is the only thing inside of our project, you can hold down Control A, and you're gonna see this outline box. This box is going around an object that I have over here on the side. So let's zoom out and see what that is. So it's the design for my first jack-o'-lantern. So if you hold down Control A, it's a good way to figure out if you have anything extra inside of your design. So I have something extra, I'm gonna select it and then delete it. So here's the model here. And what we're gonna do is you wanna make sure that you have your initials on top. Let's pretend you don't. I'm going to go ahead and group it and get rid of these initials. And what I'm going to do is help you put your name on your model in case you forgot to do that. So I dragged out the text tool. Here's the text over here. I'm going to delete that. Now, if you have really common initials, you want to make sure that maybe you add your middle initial. So I'm going to delete this. I feel like I have common initials, so I'm going to add my middle initial. So there's my initials. I'm going to change the font. I changed it to sans mono. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to hold down shift, grab a corner, move the corner around, and then over here for the length, right? So this is the length. I'm going to change that to 4.5 and then enter. As long as you hold down shift and grab a corner and move it around, it'll evenly scale down the width. So I'm going to go over here to the length, type in 4.5, and it'll evenly scale down the width. If you don't hold down shift when you're holding a corner, you're going to distort the text. So first thing before I bring this over to the top of the pumpkin, I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to click on the white square on top, click on the number, type in four, and then enter. So I'm going to have two millimeters going through the pumpkin and two millimeters sticking out of the pumpkin. So now I'm going to raise this up and then drag it to the front of the stem. Again, if you're having trouble moving your initials around, you can always go down here to the bottom right where it says snap grid. You could turn it down to a smaller number or turn it off. So it looks like my initials are going all the way through. I'm going to click on my initials and I'm just going to turn them the same color as my pumpkin and then group. So I have my initials selected. I'm going to hold down shift, click on my pumpkin and make sure that those are grouped. Because what might happen is if you have your pumpkin selected and your initials aren't grouped, you might just export your pumpkin without the initials. Okay, so there's my pumpkin. So the next thing we want to do is let's check the dimensions of our pumpkin. So for the most part, our pumpkins should be the same dimensions. So if I click on a corner, the length should be 40, the width should be 40, if not almost 40, and then the height should be 35 or almost 35. So right now our pumpkin is facing forward, our design is facing forward, the length is 40, the width is almost 40, and then the height, if we click on the white square on top, should be about 35. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this design 
backward. And the reason why we want that is because we want this design facing upward. And I'll show you why on the actual 3D model. Let's go ahead and rotate this backwards. So I'm going to go around the side view. I'm looking for this arch, I'm looking for this arch here. I'm going to hold down shift, grab the arch and then drag counterclockwise to the left so that our design is facing upward so that we don't get support materials on our design. So I'll show you next what support materials are. So let's take a look at this 3D model here. This is one of the projects that we did in our class. And these columns here are support material. It's holding up certain parts of our 3D model. For example, this arm here, it cannot be 3D printed in midair. So you do need support to hold up the plastic while the 3D printer is printing. You can also see back here on the legs, the legs need support material because you can't 3D print in midair. So you do need to print some support material to hold up the plastic while the 3D printer is printing. So if we take a closer look, we could see that the back of the robot has little to no no support material because that's actually flat on the work plane. So depending on how you place these 3D models inside of a 3D project determines where your support materials will be. So if I stood up this robot and got it ready for a project instead of laying it down the support material would be under the arm and would be under the front of the robot because that's hanging over. So anything that's hanging over that might need some extra support that's where the support material is going to be printed. On this Hello Kitty design here you can see that the head is hanging over just a little bit so it does need some support while it's being 3D printed. So this is what this model looks like when the support material is removed. Now, if your 3D model does have a lot of overhangs, you might have to place it in a different direction. We suggest placing it on the flattest surface where there's the least amount of overhangs and the least amount of detail. So if this model was placed on its back, the support material would only need to be printed from here to here. Whereas in this case, on the right hand side, the support material needed to be printed from the bottom all the way up here. So when you do print with support material, that does add to the print time as well. So that's why sometimes you want to rotate your 3D models so that the flattest part is facing down on the work plane and your 3D models wouldn't take as long to be 3D printed if they were printed in a different orientation. Normally if we would print this again, we would lay it on its back so that the support material would be on the back of the design so that once we break off the support material, we won't see where that support material was and we won't spend as much time or as much effort sanding down our 3D models. So ideally, the way that we would print this Hello Kitty the next time would be similar to the way that we printed this robot. So that when we break off the support material, it won't be on a main part of our design and it won't be noticeable since we'll be looking at the front of this robot and this will be able to stand up and the back of the robot would be something that you won't notice and that you won't see. So let's go back to Tinkercad. Okay, so if you made sure that you don't have any extra parts inside of your 3D project, you attached your initials to your 3D model. You made sure that this fits the dimensions for this 3D project and you rotate your design so the main part of this model is facing up. Now you're ready to export. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to export. Make sure you only have that model selected if you're inside of a project that has other 3D models in it and then click on STL. So if you have any questions of how to check if there's any extra parts inside of your 3D project, how to group your initials to your 3D model, how to check the dimensions or how to rotate your 3D model, go ahead and let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And feel free to watch any of the other related videos.